guys, welcome to Carol's Universe, tarot readings, tarot readings from the heart. So this is the, um, these are the cards, the decks we're using this week for your weekly check-in. Uh, we use the Everyday Witch Tarot. We also use the Tarot Wonderland by Barbara Moore. The Everyday Enchantment Tarot as well by Poppy Palin and your spiritual advices, Doreen Virtue and Radley Valentine's Angel Answer Deck. And for your 20 card uh, work and love reading, we use the Dark Mansion Tarot. Uh, the uh, spiritual advice comes from the Romance Angels, Doreen Virtue, and also the Angels of Abundance Oracle card by Doreen Virtue and Grant Virtue. And also the Answer Deck. So sit back and enjoy your reading. Take care. Hi Aquarius, welcome to Carol's Universe Tarot Readings. Tarot Readings from the Hearts. So we're going to do your week ahead reading. It's the 23rd to the 29th of September 2019. So it's business as usual. Last week was a little bit of a balls up, I will admit. Oh, I hated recording like that. It was just so uncomfortable. I really wasn't happy recording like that. But anyway, this week is back to business. Me at the first stage of the reading and then we hone down the camera to do to take a look at the spread and then we look at your work and your love and it will all be camera work from there. So let's have a look at the weekly check-in for Aquarius between the 23rd and the 29th of September 2019. Okay, Aquarius, so we've got your cards down. Let's have a look. Who are you this week, Aquarius? You are showing us, wow, nice, nice energy, Aquarius. You're showing us being the magician. You, you, you do. I mean, everybody wants to show us being this card, the magician, because it shows that you have real power. Okay, you have the vision with the magician energy. He's always got a vision for how he wants things to be because he's a creator. So you've got the vision. Um, you've got the foresight. Uh, as well as having the ability, the power, the know-how, the confidence, and hopefully the tools and the resources to make everything happen. For me, the Magician is probably one of the most important cards. Even though it's card number one within the within the Major Arcana, for me, it's probably one of the most important of the Major Arcana. Because when you're the Magician, you've got everything to make things happen. You've not only got the vision, as I've said, the foresight... Uh, that comes first. So the, the Magician for me is very much a Law of Attraction card, Aquarius, because it says, okay, we start off with the vision, we start off with the thought, uh, the foresight, then what we do is we start to, you know, we've got the confidence to make things happen, so if we've got the vision and the foresight and coupled with the confidence and also then coupled with the ability and then also coupled with the talent and the skill and then coupled with uh, you know, the resources and the things that we need to make things happen. You, you can do anything. You, you can just do anything. So this week, guys, you are the magician. And it's a really good card to get. Probably, for me, one of the best within the Major Arcana. What is the theme of the week? The theme of the week is justice. So it could be something legal. But I feel that this is more about getting the rewards. Getting your just desserts. Getting what you deserve is the justice energy. So this is all about alignment and bringing things back into balance with the justice energy. Okay, justice represents the balance of mind and heart for me with the justice energy showing here, Aquarius. But for me, justice is all about balancing the two opposing forces that we might have. Things might be out of sync with the justice energy, but if you can bring... I mean, for me, it's very similar to a temperance card, if I'm being honest with you. Because justice is all about getting our rewards, getting what we deserve, putting things back into order. And for me, justice is all about putting things into order when you get the justice energy. Because justice is ruled by, I think this might be the 11th law of the universe. What you put out is what you get back in with the justice energy. So the theme of the week is justice. And this is bringing everything into your orbit, into order. And if you think about it, if you thought about it in terms of the law of attraction, well, the magician kind of says, well, we've got the thought, uh, we've got the power, we've got the confidence, we've got the ability, the skills, the talents, and then the resources. And what we're trying to do with the magician is we're trying to create something new. So we've got all of those things in our arsenal so that we can start creating this new reality. And the theme is getting what we want. The theme is all about establishing some form of order. But also the justice energy is all about divine order as well. So everything in divine timing and everything in divine order shows up with the justice energy. But really you are kind of... Uh, What's the word? You are kind of putting into action your own order. So justice, I mean, these two cards could easily be universal energy. The magician can be where the universe manifests what you want. 
the justice energy can be that you know well if you thought about the the, the magician because the magician is all about kind of the conduit between heaven and earth so what we do we tend to do is we tend to put a thought out into the universe and then the universe responds with justice so in perfect timing the universe gives us so if we put the thought out with the magician in divine timing we get what I, we want with the justice energy but it's out of our control however you are lord and high lord and executioner on this reading Aquarius because not only are you with the magician energy taking divine action in a way this is kind of like a divine action because with the magician you're using your skills and your abilities to create whatever the reality is that you want to create because the week is all about getting what you deserve with the justice energy getting the rewards that you seek with the justice energy but nothing comes about with the magician unless you're willing to put the work in with the justice card at the same time because justice is all about and both cards actually with the magician and the justice energy are all about uh, cause and effect they are so the magician causes and then what he sees are the effects of his work when things start to manifest and so does the justice energy the justice card is all about cause and effect as well what you put out there is what you get back so both cards are indicating cause and effect is very much in play this week for aquarius what is your goal this week aquarius your goal well again the knight of swords your goal is really just to pursue your goals this week. Your goal is to act with intention. It's to take action because that's what the Knight of Swords is. Knight of Swords is all about taking action towards our goals. The Knight of Swords is all about acting with an intention or putting an intention out there with the Knight of Swords. You're very driven when you're a Knight of Swords energy. So your intention or your goal this week will be to pursue your goals and to pursue your ambitions with the Knight of Swords energy. Okay, And this will be with fearlessness and with courage and with bravery and just going for what you want. On. what is the obstacle you need to overcome though so the obstacle you need to overcome is that you're just at the start of the journey and you have to allow this thing time to grow i mean you know what i'm noting with a lot of readings um for a lot of the signs aquarius is that so many of you guys and i think i noticed it maybe i don't know whether it was within gemini or pisces or one of those but what i noticed with those readings is that what I'm seeing with the signs is that there is a real intention for change here. There's a real intention to uh, bring about change and bring about transformation. But it's almost like the universe is saying, okay, this is brilliant and you've got to carry on doing what you're doing. But just remember that you're at the beginning of the process and it's going to take time for things to develop and for things to happen and for things to, you know, to come about. Because it's all a process and it's almost like it's saying the same thing because that's your obstacle is the Ace of Wands. And the Ace of Wands is all about having the willpower and the force. But it can't be the obstacle is this because you're already this. You are showing as the magician. So you've already got that willpower. You've already got that know-how. You've already got that knowledge. You've already got that talent. And you've probably got the resources to make things happen. But remember, the obstacle, you, you know, because you're very driven. There's a real driven energy in this reading this week, Aquarius, for you guys. I mean, it's really driven energy. You've got magician. You've got justice. You've got that knot of swords sitting in there. All of these cards are indicating someone who has an, a desire and an ambition to create change and to see the results of all of their hard work come to fruition. But the universe says the obstacle you need to go overcome is the Ace of Wands. It's not your willpower, you've already got it with the Magician. It's the fact that this seed has just been planted and you've got to give this enough time to grow. Because that's the Ace of Wands. The Ace of Wands indicates that we are planting, it's like an Ace of Coins, we're planting a seed, but it really is the beginning. This is just the conception stage. Because the Ace of Wands is all about a conception. The conception of an idea. So the obstacle you need to overcome. And for some of you guys, actually, the obstacle that you need to overcome is that all of this bravado and all of this, yeah, I'm going to make this happen and that happen and that happen. For some of you guys, it really is kind of just, it's all in here. But none of it is manifesting out of here. So the Ace of Wands, when you get the one characters... They're all about the action. And the obstacle you might need to overcome is that you need to take action. Okay, you need to take action because it might be that by the end of the week, your goal is to have taken action with the Knight of Swords, to have be pursued this goal with the Knight of Swords energy because you are the magician and you have the ideas and you've got that mindset and you've got that power and that, uh, that confidence and that drive and that vision of where you want to be and what you want to create. And the theme of the week is all about getting what you deserve. So if you put the work in with the justice energy, you're going to get it out of, you're going to get, you know, you're going to get something out of it with the justice energy. The problem is that even though I'm seeing all of this bravado and all of this 
movement, this real kind of desire and driven movement coming from Aquarius, the obstacle you need to overcome for some of you guys is number one, you're at just at the first stage with the Ace of Wands and there is a period of growth that needs to happen here. Number two, for some of you guys, it's purely an idea. So you really need to start taking some action in this direction if you want to see the fruition of these dreams and goals come to come to pass. What is the uh, what is could you be achieving by the end of the week? Well, you definitely taking action because I actually feel that the obstacle you need to overcome is that you actually need to take action because this is forcefulness. This is action when you get the Ace of Wands. And by the end of the week, you could literally be taking that action because the King of Wands is going to take charge. So by the end of the week, you could literally be taking the action that you uh, that you need. So I think that this is something you guys haven't really started on. I think I think you you have a real passion and a real drive here to create something new in your reality, uh, Aquarius. But I just feel that when I look at the cards, this is something that you've not really taken the action on as yet. And the universe is saying, well, you need to get to it. What do you need to avoid this week? Just hanging around. Hangman. Just hanging around. You know, just waiting, procrastinating with the hangman, slowly moving. You haven't got time for that. You if you want to if you want to create something here, Aquarius, if you want to move, if you want something to start manifesting in your reality to do with a job or a career move or a business or a relationship, whatever it is for you that this reading means for you. You haven't got time to be hanging around and being lazy. There's a hangman. There are a few lazy cards within the tarot. One of them can be nine of cups. Another one is definitely a hangman card. This can show somebody who's just hanging around. They're just not really doing anything. And it's saying the obstacle you need to overcome is the Ace of Wands. Number one, this is just a seed that's been planted. It's just an idea. Number two, you need to take inspired action. You need to start moving your ass. So you need to avoid just kind of hanging around with that hangman energy. What do you need to embrace this week? Two cards jumped out for this. There you go. The Ace of Wands. You need to start... put Ace of Pentacles, sorry. You need to start planting a seed and nurturing it with the Ace of Wands energy. All right. Now, the Five of Wands energy shows here. Five of Wands is competitiveness. Okay. And then you've got this Ace of Coins. So you need to embrace that the work that you're doing here, Five of Wands energy, blocks, fights, competitive energy. I think that the area that you're working in is probably going to be quite competitive. That's what I'm getting from this combination. I feel that you need to embrace that the area that you're going to be working in with the Ace of Coins is going to be probably quite a competitive one with the Five of Wands. But that's no reason to give up on anything. If you need advice, where can you go? It's funny because it shows yourself, doesn't it, the star? But I would say to go to somebody who is a leader in this area. The star is also somebody like a counter, somebody who can guide you. So go to somebody who can bring you guidance, who can give you guidance here. Because I just feel that you've got this idea, um, Aquarius, that some of you guys want to pursue here. And you're really, you've got everything. You're the magician. You've got everything that you need to succeed in this, you know. Let's hang the camera down on the cards. We're going to discuss the reading again, looking at the cards on the table. And then we're going to have a look at your work and your love reading as well, Aquarius. So just bear with me. Okay, Aquarius. Um... Let's have a look at your reading then again. We've got the spiritual guidance cards that we need on this reading. So you guys are the magician this week. You have the tools. You can see it all on your desk there. You've got all the tools that you need. You've got the ideas with the Ace of Swords. Okay. You've got the initiative and the um, determination and the enthusiasm Sorry, with the Ace of Wands energy. Okay. You've got the Ace of Cups. Okay, you've got the um, the feeling, you've got the vision with the Ace of Cups energy showing here. And with the Pentacle energy, you've got the skill as well. So you've got everything you need here, all right? You're a visionary this week. You've got a clear vision of where you want to go and what you want to do because this week is all about getting the rewards that you seek for justice. It's about bringing into alignment and bringing into balance your world. And the only way that you're going to bring everything into balance and get everything kind of full circle is by working on this new venture with the magician energy it's about bringing something into your reality because this week is all about fulfilling a 
desiring, fulfilling a goal, because justice is also about bringing things full, uh, full circle. It's all about fulfilling a particular goal or fulfilling a particular idea or venture, whatever it is. So this is about fulfillment this week with the justice energy here. All right. Uh, and that's why you guys are the magician, because you have the tools, the resources, the power, the vision, the confidence to fulfill this particular role this week. OK, you have it all. And this will be on all of your. This is, you know, universal energy can definitely play parts in these cards because they really are the universe cards. They both are. The magician can universe can manifest anything for you with the magician energy. All you need to do is put the intention out there and the justice energy here brings about rewards. Okay, with the justice energy, in perfect timing, in divine timing, you often get what you want with justice. But this is all you're doing. You are, in fact, the universe this week. Uh, Aquarius with both cards. Uh, your goal is to, by the end of the week, Knight of Swords energy, have taken action, have pursued this goal, this direction, this, um, this dream, this venture with the Knight of Swords energy. But the obstacle you need to overcome is, number one, for some of you guys, it's just an idea at the moment with the Ace of Wands energy. Number two, it's just at the beginning stage and you have to give it time to grow. Number three, for some of you guys with the Ace of Wands, the obstacle you need to overcome is that you need to take inspired action now. You're the magician for goodness sake. So what's stopping you? You need to act on that magician energy by doing the eight of wands taking that first step taking that action okay showing here and by the end of the week you could be doing that king of wands is taking charge literally taking the action uh avoid just hanging around just speaking and just saying yeah i've got an idea for this i know i can do this i know i can do that but not doing anything about it with the hangman energy and just hanging around and just waiting and you know not doing anything and just kind of in, in other words i think that part of this card will also say aquarius avoid not being too serious about this endeavor here if you really are serious about this you'll take the action if not you'll just hang around and embrace though that this business because the ace of coins is a business this business is going to be competitive so this is going to require you to work extraordinarily hard so you have to be really serious about what you're doing here Aquarius okay you, you really do it's important because you need to avoid just hanging around saying yeah yeah I've got this idea for this I've got this idea for that yeah yeah I think yeah I definitely I can do this you know I, you know that I've got all the skills I've got all the abilities I'm really talented I could do this blah 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 and you have all of the intentions with the Knight of Swords and your intention by the end of the week is to have taken action again it's an air card so all we're seeing is the action being taken with the Knight of Swords energy and again all we're seeing is action being taken with the Ace of Wands and the King of Wands that's all we're seeing is actions being taken all right but you know and we're not seeing really the conclusion of this but the conclusion of it and it being successful is going to be very de dependent on your tenaciousness your motivation and your ability to carry on even when you don't see immediate results because you need to avoid just hanging around and not doing much Aquarius you know because you need to embrace as well, kind of going in with this card, that this business, Ace of Coins, that you're starting up, Ace of Coins is a startup business as well, is a very competitive one. Do you have that willpower of the magician? Do you have the desire of the Knight of Swords energy? Do you have the, you know, the willpower and the determination of the King of Wands to see this through? Do you have it? It's all very well and good getting really excited about something, Aquarius, but do you really have the kahunas? Do you really want this thing? Because if you do, you'll be a success. If not, it's just a whole load of hot air. Okay? Um, if you need advice, go to the internet, Star Energy. Go to somebody who is quite successful in this area, maybe. Or go to someone who's able to shine a light on the situation and give you the guidance that you seek. That is your card. For some of you guys, you just need to go to your higher self. Let's get your spiritual um, advice. Universe Spirit, what is the spiritual advice you have for... Um, what's the spiritual advice that you have, please, in this reading for Aquarius? What's the advice you have for them? So the advice, Aquarius, is there are helpful people around you, okay? Um, yeah, helpful people around you. That's the one card. The other ones didn't make any sense. Is there any other advice you have for... Um, is there any other advice that you have for Aquarius? Uh, meditation will bring answers. So there's helpful people around you. The meditation will be bring answers. Um, and yes, it keeps saying yes twice. And yes, uh, yes, yes, you need to look for a sign. Okay, so 
have all people are around you meditation will bring answers and yes yes look for a sign okay um there we go all right we're gonna start on your love reading please bear with me right there we go let's have a look so for work what do we see firstly uh page of wands so after when you get a page of wands this is a entry level job or you, this is a new job so for some of you guys this could be a new job page of wands energy it's a job that you don't have much experience in as well so there could be a new job on the horizon for some of you aquarians with the page of wands energy uh king of cups energy here this could be something creative i'm seeing a new job with the page of wands energy we are going from the page to the king but there's no kind of six of swords to take me through to say that there's a a bridge from the page to the king so uh king of cups can show a like an offer as well it's like a knight of cups so maybe a new job could be offered with the king of cups energy showing here or there's a new job here page of wands energy here uh, king of cups maybe for you to consider or there's a new job here this could be something that is creative with this king of cups energy or it could be working with animals or it could be uh, with the king of cups energy working within the house sector with the king of cups energy showing here and i feel that this is going to bring great happiness as well with the nine of cups we've got two very emotional cards here the nine of cups indicates uh happiness and joy and contentment and the king of cups is about harmonious energy so i'm seeing a new path here it feels that the path is very harmonious here with the king of cups it's going to bring a great deal of satisfaction to some of you aquarians with the nine of cups energy showing here as well four of swords energy healing and peace with the four of swords energy showing up here but the eight of swords shows up here four of swords rest recovery from the eight of swords i'm seeing some recovery here from worries with the eight of swords because eight of swords is worries and anxiety so i actually feel in the first five cards for some of you aquarians what i'm seeing is a new direction in work with the page of wands energy i feel with the knight of cups energy and if you look at the king of cups can you see how he's holding so the cup can be the bringer as well bringer so this new direction a new job or a new creative venture with the page is going to bring because the cup brings is going to bring satisfaction so whenever i see a cup i see it as a bringer i see the six of swords or you know a movement card as being the transition so that's the bridge i have bridging cards i've got gateway cards and i've got bringer cards and this is a bringer card so for some of you guys it's a new creative venture it could be working with animals children in the health sector creatively with the king of cups energy it's going to bring happiness and contentment a new venture new job page of wands new creative venture could bring with the king of cups energy a great deal of emotional satisfaction and it's going to help you heal and recover from some worries that you've been experiencing with the eight of swords energy some of you guys leaving behind probably a torturous place that you're working with especially if you've got backstabbers and gossipers and stuff like that with the eight of swords what's the next card showing up here definitely leaving with the eight of cups energy there's the a leaving card showing up here while you're walking towards so we've got the five of cups i feel that you guys if you look she's walking past the five so you're leaving a place that where you've been really unhappy with the five of swords cups energy and that might be kind of connecting in with this card here Eight of Swords can mean people like this, like a Ten of Swords, it can mean backstabbers as well. So definitely, probably, the Four of Swords, finally getting your break, being able to withdraw from uh, backstabbers, for example, with the Eight of Swords, feeling anxious and worries here, uh, walking away from a place that you've not been very happy with, with the Five of Cups energy showing up here. Uh, lovers energy. So the lovers can be a partnership, the lovers can be love within the workplace as well. Perhaps you're walking away from a love triangle that you weren't, that's left you feeling really upset with the Five of Cups. Lovers energy showing here. So maybe this is leaving behind a love situation as well. Uh, yeah, Five of Coins is abandonment as well. So I feel that you're abandoning. Some of you guys are abandoning. Uh, could be a love triangle in the workplace that you experienced that left you deeply upset and hurt with the Five of Cups. I see you leaving that behind as well. Um, uh, six of Wands. So Six of Wands... Five, so six of wands that's interesting six of wands is victory but if you look at these five of coins people they're leaving behind this six of wands energy showing up here i get the impression here um we'll read this a few ways i think uh 
Libra, number one, there's a new creative venture, a new job with the Page of Wands energy. Could be working with animals, working creatively, working in health, King of Cups energy. But also this new opportunity with the Page of Wands in terms of worth is going to bring you happiness and joy and contentment with that nine of cups energy um i feel that some of you guys have been wanting to withdraw from a really anxiety inducing job there there might have been some backstabbers and gossipers around you it might be that you felt that you were limited in the work that you were doing here but you're being able to the fact that some of you guys are a new opportunity is going to bring happiness and contentment to you. It's going to allow you to withdraw from this energy of the Eight of Swords. I'm seeing some of you guys walking away perhaps from a love triangle in the workplace here. Uh, abandoning, walking away and abandoning a love triangle that left you deeply hurt here. Possibly leaving behind a love triangle with the lover's energy showing here. Uh, possibly with somebody who was quite arrogant as well. Six of Wands can show arrogance in an individual here as well. Some of you guys, it might also be that you've been in a place of responsibility. Six of Wands can be where you're responsible for a team. So a leadership position is a Six of Wands. Because the Five of Coins is, is facing outside of that Five of Coins is facing outside of Six of Wands, and it looks like it's bridging. It looks like it's bridging to the lovers. So it might also be some of you guys are leaving behind a leadership position, and you're going back and you're working within a group. So if you've been in a leadership position with the Six of Wands, I'm getting that you're leaving that leadership position, and you've decided I'm going to go and work with a group again. So it might be that some of you guys decide to give up a a position that was really responsible it required you to have a lot of responsibilities and you've decided to go back to working within a group probably this is where you're most happiest and you have most peace showing here by leaving because it just feels as well on the reading guys that some of you guys uh you're walking away from something that was making you feel really unhappy it might be also that you were working in a really responsible job but now you're leaving that and and you're you've decided i'm going to go and work within a team again i was most happiest and most at peace here when i was doing this perhaps this leadership position brought too many limitations to you with the eight of swords energy especially when it came to going out and having a drink and partying king of cups and the knight of nine of cups energy here and the page of wands as well all right so it might be a leadership position brought too many responsibility and it limited you from kind of going out king of cups nine of cups is drinking going out drinking and having fun with the page of wands and I feel that some of you guys are walking away from this situation because you were just, you know, you, you were feeling really sad. And perhaps you didn't have enough time with that five of cups for your friends, for example. So this is all about finally being able to turn you back on this job that just put too many responsibilities on some of you um, Aquarians. So that you can, you know, you're leaving this behind. So you can probably, for some of you guys, focus on your friends as well with the lovers energy showing here interesting all right we're going to get your work reading i mean your love reading sorry bear with me right so uh let's have a look aquarius for your love reading what are we seeing here we are seeing oh seven of swords actually actually you aquarius uh, seven of swords is an aquarius energy so i think this is you leaving behind what are you leaving behind or escaping um, I don't think some of you guys, I'm getting the impression, it's either you or it's someone else, but this is your energy as well, this is an Aquarius person. I'm saying you don't want to be in a relationship right now, because the Seven of Swords is somebody who wants to be independent of a relationship, of a new love affair, that type of thing. So I feel that some of you guys really want to be independent of a relationship with someone here with the Ace of Cups energy. Uh, could be with a Pisces individual with the High Priestess energy. And also some of you guys are not kind of connecting with a relationship. You're not connecting on a psychic level with a lover here. The Ace of Cups is your lover card and this is a spiritual connection. So some of you guys are not, because you're the Seven of Swords, some of you guys aren't feeling a spiritual connection to another individual here as well. Let's have a look at the next one. Um, Page of Swords as well showing up here. So... But, you know, High Priestess as well and the Seven of Swords can be somebody who's messing about with another individual in a relationship. So some of you guys might be experiencing that. Page of Swords is somebody who wants to experiment in love, often with the Page of Swords energy, Ace of Swords. But I feel that through, this is kind of like standing up for the truth. And then you've got the Ace of Swords. Ace of Swords is about communication. 
Uh, page of Swords is about being honest. So I'm seeing some honest communication. It might be this week with the Page of Swords and the Ace of Swords. Some of you guys are honestly communicating that you don't feel a connection with someone in terms of love or you don't really... I just feel that you're not feeling it. The Seven of Swords doesn't want the Ace of Cups. It wants to be on its own. It doesn't want to be a part of the, the, this, love, this love relationship. And the High Priestess can often be the page, the, the uh, spiritual connection. If you look at the uh, Page of Swords, it's cutting through the High Priestess. So whatever secrets are going on here are probably going to come out with that Page of Swords. And we've got the truth and honesty here. So I feel that some honesty is coming out in a relationship here some of you guys if this is you you really don't feel a spiritual connection with another individual if this is another in person they don't feel the spiritual connection with you and i feel the truth may be coming out with the page of swords and the ace of swords here also if there's been any deception here with another individual high priestesses often show as hidden people another individual here in love i feel it will probably come out here as well with the page of swords and the ace of swords uh, we've got the Six of Coins, which is generosity, give and take in a relationship with the Six of Coins. Uh, but I feel that you're upset. You're upset about this. Uh, Six of Coins, I'm seeing sadness, regret, sorrow. There's sorrow happening here with this Five of Coins energy. Um, some of you guys thought that you had a balanced relationship, because the Ace of Swords is also to think. So some of you guys thought that you had a balanced relationship with someone, but I feel that... Um, it's either you or them that's coming out and saying, look, I don't feel this connection here. And I feel that there might be some sorrow concerning this Aquarius. Okay, yeah, Ten of Swords, painful ending though. I think there's some sadness. Maybe there's been a great deal. I don't think there's... The only way I'd say that there's been betrayal here, sorrow because of betrayal, is because there's been a deception with another individual in terms of love. All right, so we've got the central card talking about love pure love but around that card we have deception seven of swords with a high priestess okay showing up here and some of you guys are feeling at a loss because you're feeling betrayed so it might be something about deception and cheating and feeling betrayed in love especially a relationship that you thought was you know balanced with the six of coins energy uh, other than that some of you guys just not connecting and you're telling the truth this week the other person might be really really hurt because they thought that there was a real balance here or vice versa uh knight of coins some of you guys feeling really hurt feeling so wounded because the ten of swords means to be wounded some of you guys feeling really wounded that somebody is kind of being a little bit slower this week so i don't know whether this is you actually because i'm feeling here that this is you being wounded it's either you it's, it's one or the other the only way i say it's only one or the other aquarius because that's an aquarius card with the seven of swords energy but somebody's feeling really wounded with the ten of swords that the other person is moving really slowly with the knight of coins energy six of wands they're probably moving really slowly and going out there and having fun uh, looking for other people because they're not the six of wands can be somebody who is going out there and they are searching you know they're it's like a chariot card so this person is often going out and approaching others as well all right and you could have the page of swords is the player card of the tarot as well this is somebody who just wants to explore relationships but goes out and explores others and it might be you're getting the truth with the ace of swords that you've just got somebody here who just wanted a quick fling because this Ace of Cups can be, and the page, this could be a, like a quick fling showing up here. So it might be that your clarity, you're finding the clarity, um, Aquarians, that somebody just wanted to go and have a quick fling, for example. Because he just wants to experiment. So clarity might be, oh, I found out this person just wants to experiment. They wanted to just go out and look for other people. I'm deeply hurt, maybe, because this person now has slowed down. Perhaps they've slowed down on contacting me with the Page of Swords energy showing here. They're not contacting me as much. They're not sending me these love messages anymore. Probably because they want to escape the relationship. They've become more detached as well with the High Priestess energy. We could read all sorts into this spread here. But I think that, you know, the first thing that I'm noticing in love is... If this is you, Aquarius, you don't really want to be a part of this relationship, okay? Some of you guys have become detached. Also, I just feel that you don't see a spiritual and, a, and an emotional connection with this individual. And I feel that the truth is coming out with these two cards. You'll probably say it to this individual. And this person might be deeply hurt because they thought with the Ace of Swords that you really had this lovely, balanced relationship. And they're deeply hurt and really upset with that Five of Cups energy that you're starting to 
kind of wind down on the attention that you've paid to them because the six of wands is also paying attention so probably this person will be really upset if this is you this person will be really upset that you've started to slow down you're starting to withdraw a little bit with that knight of coins energy the attention that you've been paying to this individual uh, if it's the other person, then obviously they don't want to have a part of this relationship. They've become probably quite uh, detached with the High Priestess. They don't feel that connection there either. They could have been messing around with another individual here in your relationship. Surrounding your relationship, the Ace of Cups, this person could have been being deceptive and messing around with the High Priestess energy, showing it the truth would come out on this anyway. Possibly you guys have been rooting around anyway in terms of their activities. It could be their online activities with the Six of Wands as well, doing a bit of rooting around in private, in silence with the High Priestess on their online activities. Some of you guys feeling really, really hurt this week on the Friday Aquarius for some of you guys that somebody is slowing down in terms of the attention again that they're paying to you but at least you know the truth that this person is probably with the page of swords energy just wanted to experiment but they're going out there and they're looking for other people with the six of wands energy there is a bit of sorrow here because you did think that this person and you you know you were managing this relationship you were quite balanced in the way that you were with each other okay showing here but you know what tomorrow is another day at the end of the day but i feel that either way it, love doesn't look so good for me uh on this reading i've got to be honest with you aquarius all right let's have a quick look at what the advice is on the love reading so what's the advice for aquarius what advice do you have for aquarius in terms of love for the week please um chemistry though it says there's a strong magnetic attraction here so you still have an attraction here you still have an attraction but for some of you guys it's really weird because there is definitely an attraction here but look at the cards that we've got we've got the five of cups the ten of swords the knight of coins is a slow moving energy in love uh the eight of cups seven of swords high priestess flanking that card there it's not so great so even though there's still a chemistry here for some reason one of you doesn't really feel the relationship one of you and it could be that one of you doesn't really want to attach themselves too much to the relationship probably because one of you still wants to go out page of swords experimenting and exploring other people as well that could be it let's have a look at what the um spiritual advice is for money and work what's the advice you have for uh, Aquarius concerning money and work show me in one card please um, so exercise to increase energy and manifestation abilities so the key to manifesting quickly is to have a very high energy level and the easiest way to increase them is through physical exercise uh, choose a fun and meaningful activity so that you'll look forward to exercising and it becomes your own its own reward okay Let's have a quick look at finally your answered question, your answer deck. So Universe Spirit, through the answer deck, what is the advice in three cards you have for Aquarius for the week in three cards? Right, the first one is you need to have patience. Okay, Aquarius, let's have a look at the other two cards. Uh, you need to have patience because there is going to be a new beginning here for you guys. Okay, um, scandal that's interesting. So you need to have patience. I think before there's a new beginning, there might be a scandal okay so i feel that have patience because you be, uh, be let me start again you need to have patience because before you can start again there needs to be some scan it looks like there's something here that needs to be cleared up here before you can have this new beginning all right scandal could be with a fair gray-haired woman as well showing up interesting all right guys that's your reading for the week aquarius i'd like to say thanks ever so much for joining me on carriage universe if you'd like your own private reading just click through on my website it's in the comment section below the link or you can click on the end screen video take care guys Bye bye